this video I'm going to show you how to update firmware on the S100 drive. You're going to need a few things. First you'll need a smart copier with batteries installed, AA, or you'll need to plug it into an AC adapter wall outlet. You'll also need this gray cable and you'll need genders, uh, I.O. and main. Uh, most of the time you're going to be flashing just the main firmware. First thing you'll need to do is actually power off the VFD. Firmware flashes are done with power off. Let the drive discharge and start removing some covers. So the uh, I.O. firmware is actually under the keypad and the main firmware is under the uh, board. This is the I.O. board. So you could just remove this screw here just a single screw. This is pretty similar for most capacities on the smaller range. And then this just shifts down, down, and then you can hang it off to the side. There's a uh, connection right here. We're going to go on this set of pins and we're going to flash our main firmware. So you're going to grab your main gender, plug it into the gray cable. It's uh, unidirectional. You can only put it in one way. And then this just kind of slides out. You'll also want to look on here and it'll tell you the ground pin goes down for smaller sizes, uh, four kilowatts and below. Actually it's opposite down for five and a half kilowatts and above. And then it's up for smaller drives. So this is a smaller drive. So we're going to put that ground pin up. Uh, just be, be gentle and also I'd recommend holding it because it's kind of a long awkward board. Turn on the smart copier with the switch on the side. We're selecting main board and I'm going to look around for my S100. I'm going to use version 2.90. Press enter, press enter again. This takes about 45 seconds or so to update. If you get a failure or anything right away, I'd recommend checking the polarity of that board we plugged in. Make sure the connection's secure. You may also run into a condition where this fails and you get like a, a file invalid. For that, I'd recommend cycling power to the smart copier and that resolves that issue. hundred percent success hit escape could disconnect this I like to fold this back so we don't damage any pins now I'm going to show you the uh, IO one so we could connect this up to the gray cable you could slide this out and uh, we're going to reinstall this so it starts at the bottom slides back up a couple of little tabs on there that hold it in you could put this screw back on so this is the I.O. board we popped out to access the main board. So now there's a tab here, right there. And then there's another tab right here. You could remove this keypad. Be careful, there's some small pins on there you don't want to bend. <clears throat> and here is our I.O. connection right here, four pins. So same deal, if you look on this, you're going to see it's going to say right or up. So. This is oriented like this, so we're going to put that pin on the right. The larger capacity S100s, the board kind of shifts around, so it'll go up. So this is I.O., so we're going to go down to I.O. We're going to do S100, all groups, I.O. This one tends to flash a little bit faster. So here's that file invalid. So I'm just going to cycle power. Let's see if it works this time. There you go, a little bit of troubleshooting right there. It's working this time. IO flashes very fast, must be a smaller file. That is pretty much it. So I could power that off, you could disconnect this, fold it up, connect your keypad, if you feel any resistance, you gotta watch those pins. Put all your covers back on.
screw everything down. I'm just going to flip this on. And on this uh, LED keypad, we're going to check our firmware at uh, DR, I believe it's 97. 2.90, that matches what we did with the smart copier. That is it.